going to do a physics problem about a, a skier who is going down a frictionless slope. I'm going to share my screen and we are going to come over to what I have set up. So here we have our skier and they are skiing down a hill that is 240 meters high so that is going to be our y initial and we're going to set y equal to zero at the bottom always define a coordinate system we're going to say plus is up positive is up and she is going to um, come down to this point 100 meters from the bottom which is going to be our final position we need to find the velocity at that position and also the kinetic energy so the important aspect of this problem is that it is a frictionless slope and so we have conservation of energy here you might want to use uh, kinetics, but don't be fooled. Uh, energy, conservation of energy is going to be a much easier process. And because it is frictionless, um, we do not need to use the work kinetic energy theorem. And we can just say E initial is equal to E final. And we have two types of energy here. We have potential energy and kinetic energy. And so the potential energy, sorry, the kinetic energy is one half M V initial squared plus potential energy m g y initial or the height is equal to the kinetic energy one half mv squared which is the final kinetic energy plus the initial sorry the final potential energy so for this problem, we want to find the velocity final, so we're going to be solving for this quantity, but we can simplify this expression a little bit. So while it's not implicitly stated in the problem, I am going to assume that the skier is starting from rest up here. So V initial is going to be zero meters per second, which means this whole expression can be zero. So now this makes it easier to solve for the final velocity at 100 meters. So doing some quick algebra, we get g y initial minus y final divided by 1 half m. And then we take the square root. So to simplify this, m's cancel, and we are left with square root of 2g times y initial minus y final. Okay, so we know all of these quantities. We can plug those in. Remember, g is 9.8 meters per second squared. And remember, this is not a vector quantity. This is a scalar quantity. Uh, so it does not have a direction. So it's just the number. And then we multiply by y initial, which is 240, minus y final, which was 100 meters. Take the square root of all of that. Gives us an answer of 52.38 meters per second, which is very fast. If you have a frictionless slope, I guess that's how fast you're going to be going. So the next part of the question asks for the kinetic energy at that point. So here we have kinetic energy at 100 meters. And the equation for kinetic energy, if you remember, is 1 half mv final at 100 meters squared. And we know all of these quantities. We know the mass of the skier, 57 kilograms. We know the velocity is very fast, 52.38 meters per second. Don't forget to square it. And when you calculate that out, it becomes 78,194 kilogram meters squared over second squared, which is equal to a joule. So there is your uh, skier with calculating uh, the kinetic energy and the velocity. So thanks for watching and